Wedding photographs can become family heirlooms, but only if your photographer gives them to you. A Greeley bride reached out to our consumer investigator, Jacqueline Allen, after she says the photographer took her money and they kept her photos. Yeah, this is just an awful story. We have found multiple complaints about Kevin Robertson photography, and it's unusual because one bride tells us he's actually showing up, doing the work on the big day. So the question now is, where are the wedding photos? To call Davy Good organized, I mean, I've got a planner for everything in my life, is an understatement. She planned her entire wedding almost a year in advance. I had gone to a bridal show that they were holding. Her venue had a list of preferred vendors, including Lakewood based Kevin Robertson Photography. Now, at some point, he was removed from the vendor list, but Davy didn't find that out until right before her wedding day, when she'd already signed the contract. Me personally, I didn't see any red flags. He was very attentive and he took every opportunity from what I could see to take pictures. When it came time to actually get those pictures though, she says she's been ghosted. I called him multiple times, I texted him. Radio silence, I've not been able to get a hold of him at all. How much did you pay him? I paid him $1,500 in total. But that's not what you're really upset about? No. I don't care at all about the money. What I care about are the memories that I made. I wanted to first look with my dad, blending his family with mine, seeing that and capturing all these candid moments. I didn't care about anything else except for those pictures. Kevin Robertson Photography. 90 days after her wedding, we also tried to find Kevin Robertson and the missing wedding photos. The mailbox is full. With no response. We found his business license is delinquent. And turns out Davey is not alone. Complaints on the BBB and The Knot show another couple waited more than a year for their video. Also, the venue that recommended Robertson says they removed him from their vendor list last year because another bride had great trouble getting the end product from him. My cute little ring bearer. Meanwhile, Davey set up a Facebook page so friends and family can share their photos. And she and her husband staged a newlywed shoot to have something to kind of just from their some special day. It's better than not having anything at all, but I guess I'm just too stubborn and I don't want this to happen to anybody else. If you could say something to him right now, what would you want to say to him? Basically be begging at this point for my pictures because that's all I want. That's all I want. Robertson still has not responded to our emails, texts, or phone calls. Davy says if she could do one thing differently, she would not have paid in full until she got her photos. And he's based in Jefferson County, so she has to travel there to take him to small claims court. So that is also something to be aware of. Show me. Just unbelievable. That's so sad. All right. Well, hope that turns out okay eventually.